Hey, what's up guys? Huli here back with Profound Image Consulting. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are having a great day. As always, on this channel, we talk about everything image, style, and character development related topics and other topics as well. In today's video, we are talking about how to act and look cooler than the other guys. Now, before I do get into the video, in my previous video, I did mention you guys should go follow me on Instagram. Link is in the description below to go check out my page. You get a deeper look into my actual life. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get into the video. First thing you should be doing to act and look cooler than other guys is to stop being someone that you're not. One of the worst things you can do is play a person or a part that isn't you. I see so many men try to fake their way into success or life. I see so many men try to have fake conversations that in the end have nothing to back up. Would it be wrong to just go out and say be yourself? It's actually great advice and I would give that advice any day as opposed to telling someone to go be someone that they're not. Being yourself makes you look genuine, makes you look like a good person, and it makes you just stand out than the other guys and makes you look cooler. Now, obviously being yourself is one thing, but having the confidence to standing up for yourself is something that women see as sexy and men see as cool. And it's better than driving the newest car, having the latest hairstyle, or just following any basic trend. Consider working on yourself and stick to your personal development and I promise you that the cool crowd will start coming to you and not the other way around. All right guys, the second thing you should be doing to act and look cooler than the other guy in relation to style is to accessorize. Now, unless you have a big ego, I'm sure that we can all admit we've been next to that guy who is rocking those nice glasses and they instantly have that cool factor. And the great thing about it is that you don't have to rock regular glasses or sunglasses, but you can accessorize. So it's bracelets, necklaces, rings, you name it. Accessorize, guys, this is gonna elevate you to that next level. Now, each of these items that I did mention, guys, like the necklaces, bracelets, rings, sunglasses, glasses, you name it, um, will instantly make you look cooler than the other guy. And although some uh, items will look more masculine than others, it's up for personal preference you know, and taste. Try to experiment a little bit, find out what works best on you and for you. Maybe get a couple of compliments here and there and you'll kind of get to know exactly what is actually working for you as opposed to what isn't working for you. All right guys, the next thing you should be doing to act and look cooler than the other guys is to stop seeking approval from others. See, when you are one that is subconsciously seeking approval from others, it also shows that you're seeking external validation and it shows that you don't have enough confidence in yourself. And well, you get where I'm going with this one. Don't be like the other guy. Be like the guy who has confidence in himself. Give yourself validation for the things that you do for you and not for the approval of others. Now, the important things that happen when you stop seeking approval from others is one, you immediately act and look cooler than the other guys, which is a plus, but the other is your assertiveness reveals itself and all of a sudden you have a boost of confidence in yourself and this allows you to step up your game, which on the run makes you outshine the competition or the guys that are in that same lane competing with you. It shows that you aren't relying on others. It shows that you have humility. It shows that you are confident and embrace your insecurity. All right, guys, the fourth thing you should be doing to act and look cooler than other guys is to check your posture. So right now, for example, I am your posture checking in. Make sure you are sitting upright. Make sure you're standing up straight, whichever one in whatever current position that you're in. Now, I know for some guys that you know have mastered this posture thing tend to ease up or tend to lose their composure and posture when they get into a tight situation. Now, the way you don't end up like the other guys is to keep your composure, right? Be more laid back, be more relaxed, learn how to breathe. I see so many guys that just aren't breathing right or holding their breath for way, way too long. Now, if you are the guy who is, you know, dealing with stress and anxiety, you probably are the guy that is kind of suffering with that bad posture, bad composure. Now, if this someone is you, then I recommend looking into meditation, looking into yoga, and these are gonna be things that are gonna help with your posture, with your composure, and most importantly, your breathing. I promise if you stick to something like this, you won't believe the results that you'll end up 
getty all right guys the fifth and final thing you should be doing to act and look cooler than the other guys is to listen more right and so it's super important that you one that listens to respond and not the other way around it pays so much more to be the guy that listens for minutes at a time and then respond as opposed to just going on and rambling about yourself for minutes at a time or throughout the whole entire conversation forget about you for a few and for once be in the moment be in the present again listen to respond and i can't tell you how many more relationships you're going to gain from this as opposed to the other guys too many guys are just talking way too much and it's just a complete turnoff. Guys, learn to be a better conversationalist and there are tons of different outlets out there and tons of different videos on how you can be a better conversationalist, how you can hold a conversation, how you can start a conversation and what topics you should be talking about that are even interesting to begin with and that can hold a conversation. And for now, I'm not gonna give my two cents, but I will at one point and I'll maybe be coming out with different videos talking about how you can be a better conversationalist but for now, I just, just want to give you guys a basic understanding on how you can stand out and how you can look cooler than the other guy. All right, guys, that concludes today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Hope you guys got something out of it. And if you did, go ahead and give me a like down below. It helps me. It helps the channel grow. And if you like my content and you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so the videos can come to you. And in the description down below, you can go ahead and find the link to go follow me on Instagram also my virtual services that i do offer that help with your image and style go check them out i look forward to working with you all right guys as always i'll catch you guys on the next one